Hello everyone and welcome back to Besiege. So as I said last time guys, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to be checking out the vehicles you guys submitted to me in the Steam group. So I went on there already and I subscribed to a bunch of the vehicles you submitted. There are some really cool ones there and I'm really excited to try them out. So the first vehicle we're going to look at guys is called the Knight Abuser. I'm not really sure how it works. The instructions say put a knight on both grabbers and then press P and start driving. So I'm going to do that. Okay, the knights have successfully been put on this thing. Now what the hell am I doing? Pressing P. P. And now, whoa, okay. So how is this, how is this abusing them? They're just bouncing up and down. This is, oh shit. How, I thought I was on invincibility. Okay, I'm not on invincibility. Okay, let's try this again, but with invincibility on. So P and then go. Doesn't really seem like it's abusing them that much, guys. We're just driving around, okay? It actually looks like a lot of fun. I would totally get on this thing. It's like a, it's like a seesaw for knights. <laughs> oh, oh shit. One of them just got abused a little bit. Okay, what, what, what are we doing here? Ooh, watch it, watch it! Shit, are you alive? No, he's dead. He, he landed on his face. The person who made this vehicle here, guys, had a lot of really cool cars, like really well-designed vehicles, but I thought this was one of the coolest ones. I think it looks super freaking awesome. Now, I don't know how well it works. Okay, it can drive, so that's a good sign. So, I mean, I guess I'll do what I normally do and just drive into some knights. You can drift into them. That was so freaking nice. Oh, yeah, gotta love that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Don't tip me over. I was going to say, you got to love that camera mod, guys, that allows you to, you know, actually see what you're doing at all times. Oh, good, stop, stop, stop. Oh, that was so close to banging into that thing there. I like how these guys are just holding up their pitchforks, like, come on, bro. You want some of this shit? I'll give you some of this shit. Actually, you're not going to give me any shit because I'm just going to drive into you and you're going to die. See? Told you. So this vehicle right here, guys, is a pogo stick, and the way it works is it's anchored into the ground now. But uh, I didn't even know this was a thing. Like, I didn't know you could just remove the anchors whenever you wanted, but you can if you just set it to a button. So in this case, it's set to up, and that's also the button to use the pogo stick. So you put you put a knight or a peasant in this little bucket here, and then what happens is they hold the vehicle up, and you can just bounce around and use these, uh, these things on the front here to move yourself forward. So I think everything is on up, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Everything is on up except for the left and right and the spinny thing so you can actually turn. Cool, let's give it a try. All right, here we go, guys. So I got myself a knight. I just need to try and bring myself in while the camera goes nuts. And that's only because I have the camera mod on, I think. When he jiggles a little bit, it causes the whole camera to go crazy. There, I got him. Okay, that actually worked really well. He's pretty much exactly in the center. So now all we got to do is, well, I mean, let go of that guy. Stop focusing on him. And then we can just hit up. There you go. And now it's a pogo stick. That's actually hilarious. It works much better than I thought it would. I just got to try and turn now. There you go. Excuse me. Coming through. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, so yeah, you just you just press up and it pushes you forwards every time. It looks like you're going to fall down, but then it just uh, it it writes you again before you actually hit the ground. So, can we can we turn this a bit better? I don't know why it's so hard to turn. It's just wobbling around a lot. But then again, it is a giant piece of metal. So, I can see there being some issues with it. But hey, we're pogoing, man. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to pogo into these uh, these peasant houses. I know I'm supposed to be the one, like, protecting you peasants from, I don't know, giant medieval war machines created by a god. But today I'm just going to kill you because why not? I'm coming for you, buddy. Sort of. I'm trying my best. Here we go. You guys are just going to keep running, aren't you? There's no way this pogo is going to be able to catch up with you. If you were a stationary object, maybe I could get you like I did with the houses. But if you keep going, oh, I got super close to killing that guy. Oh, shit. Come on. I just want to do this. This is like my, this is my lifetime dream. It's, it's to pogo into a peasant as a knight. But instead, I'm just going to spin around. So I guess that's the end of that story. You guys get to live. I want to know what this guy's name is, though. Because he's, he's done me well so far. Let's lift him up. Throw him into the ground. His name is Drake. Thank you very much, Drake. I don't know if you guys have seen these vehicles before. They're called Ornithocopters. There's a few of them floating around in the Steam Workshop right now. I have very little faith in them. I haven't actually tried them myself, but they're like flappy things. They they flap their wings in order to fly. I don't know how they even control them, okay? Yeah, up and down, left and right, T and G. Let's just give those a try. Okay. So, T and G. Oh, shit. Okay. There you go. It's kind of working. Oh, jeez, I thought I needed to, uh, I thought I needed to press both of the buttons, but no, you just press T and you can flap. I thought I needed to press T and G, so let's try that thing. Come on, lift it up, baby, lift it up. Yeah, okay, that's, that's pretty cool, guys, I'm not gonna lie. It looks like there's some propellers on that thing. No, it's just to turn it. Okay, so it is completely, uh, like a flappy machine. I'm flipping over and crashing into the ground. Is it, did I hit the ground? 
No, nope, I want out the map. Just good. So in addition to that one, there's also the Bionic Ornithicopter, and this one is ridiculous. I don't know if it's going to lag my system a lot or not, because with the new update, it seems to be a little bit better. But let's just bring it up in the air, because I don't really want to have it on the ground down there. It's going to bang into stuff. And just grab the controls real quick. It's all on TNG and left and right. All right, so start and T. Oh, damn. Look at that thing. This thing is insane, and it works really well. It's actually running at 40 frames per second. I am impressed. And it stays up and, like, stays flat in the air. I guess, I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for or not. It, like, stays pretty much stationary. It can, like, hover. Damn, so how do I, like, go forwards with it? Or do I do, not do that? Do I just, do I just hang out? There you go. Don't, don't, don't lose it. So, the way it's working, guys, is it pulls up when it's sideways and goes back down when it's flat. That must have took a long time to create. So, how do I actually go forwards in this thing? It seems like you can't. I think it's slightly tilted forward, so you can go forwards. It just takes a while. Let's see if we can turn around and land on the peasant village. Mm, you're not really doing a good job of turning around. Can you go back? Can you go backwards with the down button? No? It just goes, like, side to side. Is there something I'm missing here? Okay, guys, so I had a better look at the controls, so I understand it a bit better now. Uh, you actually have to do... Uh, G to slightly offset it so as you can see now the the wings are slightly offset it's supposed to make it a little bit better uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get it at the right point where it works good because it says to use like a 90 degree offset but it's really hard to do I think that's close enough look at that so they're all like flapping individually now is it gonna stay up okay I think we got it so F and H should turn it okay yeah it's, it's doing it it's spinning around all right, good stuff, good stuff. A little bit further. Stop doing that, guys. What's happened is I'm flying over their, uh, I'm flying over their town, and because I'm flying over it, they're running away from me. But watch this. I'm gonna land right in the house. Boom! That's the stuff. Did anybody die? Let me put back on the. Yes, a lot of people die. Wade died, and Wade died, and Boren, and Ralph, and Odo, and Theobald, and Avery. All right. That's not bad. That's that's a pretty good kill streak going here. I'm not gonna lie, guys. This is probably my favorite machine out of all the machines I'm gonna show you today. What it is is it's an electrical socket, and when you plug it into the machine, it turns on. The only problem I got with it is normally what you would do is it would already be plugged into the machine, and then you would plug it into the wall. But I'm assuming there's no method to actually get it to spin then, because what it does is I think it goes in there, hits the grabbers, and then the grabbers push the slider into this grabber, and then it spins around. But nothing is actually spinning right now, so I don't really know how that's going to work. But let's give it a try, okay? All you got to do is come over here, spin around, pick it up, and move it towards there. This is not going to be easy, especially if I focus on it. Hang on a second. You go there. I'm going to focus on something else or just move my camera this way. And then we'll try and get it into the socket. Okay, you're getting a bit closer. Move it in. All right, so we're going to grab the forks here and then try and get it in. Come on. Oh, this is way too hard for me. This is like trying to plug something into the wall when it's super dark and you're drunk at the same time. <laughs> Not a fun time, guys. Not a fun time. I didn't expect it to be this hard to actually plug in, guys. Holy crap. Just get in there, okay? I see you falling down. I don't like it. I'm going to make you go in. Come on. I, if I grab it by the very back side, I think I can do it better. There. Yes. I did it. And now it is slowly spinning around. I don't know why it's so slowly spinning. There, you can make it spin on its own. I was hoping that it would be automatic. Can't you do that? Can't you set it so it automatically spins? I think you can. What is it even doing? No, it's it's working. It's just acting very weird. It's like jiggling and stuff. Probably because of the camera. Yeah. Look, there's actually a setting on this thing, guys, so it's automatic. Let's put that on and then try again, okay? Because now... Don't do that. Don't stop. I don't like it. So now it's not touching anything, and it's automatic. So when we plug it in, it should automatically start the blender. Just a little bit further. Can I not, like, pull you that way? Come on, go that way. Yes, I got it. And now it's spinning around. See? So it can be automatic. It's just that it wasn't set that way. Sometimes the game acts weird, like with uh, with workshop creations, where even though you set it yourself before you upload it to the workshop, when other people go to use it, it removes that certain setting. Like, it removes the uh, grab static objects usually on the grabbers. So that might be an issue, or the creator might not have done it. But I did it, and I think it's better this way. This thing is really cool, guys. It is a plane, and it has little tiny planes in underneath it that you can also detach and fly. Now, I don't really feel like you'll be able to fly all six at the same time. Most of them are probably just going to, like, fly into the ground or something. But I'll try and fly, like, one of them. But let's try and get this plane working first, okay? So, go. And then it's T and G to control it up and down. And then you also have your F and H for what the hell are you doing right now? 
I have no idea. And then R and Y. So R is gonna... Alright. That's actually really nice. The controls are really good on this thing. It has a lot of, um, like, wings, obviously. Like, the little uh, propeller blades. So, obviously, that's gonna help it fly a lot better. So, let's just, um, let's just bring it over here. Okay. We'll use R to spin it around some more. And then we'll try and fly one of these tiny planes as well. Alright, so let's focus on this plane right here. So, J drops it. And then you use I, J, K, and L to fly it with uh, V, I think, as the... No, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We're still flying. Um, what is the control to make it go? It is V. Okay. So in that case, let's get flying. It's a little bit laggy because of the fact that I think there's so much other stuff going on at the same time. But the plane actually flies surprisingly well. Like, I, I don't know if it's partly because Besiege, uh, like, updated and made it better. But what? They're, are they all flying right now? Holy shit, man! Like, they're all flying around. Only one of them is actually, like, being directly controlled by me. And all the other ones are getting the same controls, and they're actually flying. Even even the uh, ship itself is still in the air. That is just ridiculous. It's so chaotic. I'm gonna fly into the peasants, okay? That's the way I end all these, um, flights. If you end your flight with anything besides trying to kill someone, you're doing it wrong, man. I mean, unless it's real life. In that case, you... You don't want to do that. <laughs> Look! Man, I didn't even have to do it myself. I was trying to get to the peasants, and another ship did it instead. Well, I guess I'm done with this vehicle. I completed everything pretty well. So I'd hate to have the break to see you guys all of a sudden, but Christmas is in one week from today. That means in one week, a large bearded man is going to break into your house, rub his sack over your floor, and leave you presents. How is he going to do that? With Santa's sleigh, of course. Look at that shit. We got reindeers and everything. It's amazing. There's also, like, nuclear bombs or something in the back of Santa's sleigh. I guess that's going to all the good boys and girls across the world. That's cool. Whatever. I'm pretty sure we need to have, um, no gravity on for this because, I mean, these reindeer, I mean, they're looking good, but I don't think they're going to be able to take Santa's sleigh around as is. So let's go ahead and, uh, go to the settings and put on zero gravity, and we should- Whoa! Santa! Wait for us, okay? We didn't even start yet! So, go, and how do I tilt up? Is there a way to tilt up? There's a boost on this thing. Oh, yeah, I gotta look at that. Hang on, don't go over there. Don't go over there. That would not be good. Santa, careful. You're gonna get in reverse gravity. Oh, Jesus, Santa. Oh, fuck. We just killed Santa, guys. What are we gonna do? Oh, by the way, Santa's invisible. Just, just don't worry about it. So maybe this isn't even supposed to fly, guys. I'm thinking it's not supposed to fly, but it would be much better if it did. So let's modify it a little bit so it does. So this, guys, is the new and improved Santa sleigh. It's got propellers on the front now um, for up and down. And on the back, I added torches, so instead of having water cannons, we have steam cannons. So let's see if this works now. Here you go. Good so far. And then we gotta get it going. Oh, hang on. I almost uh, used the wrong button here. So we're gonna use Z to go forwards first. And then once we get in the air, I'm gonna use control for the boost. But I want it to actually go in the right direction first. Or else I think it's probably gonna go a bit crazy because the back is gonna be going in the wrong direction as the front and stuff. So... This is looking pretty good, okay? I mean, the, the nuclear bombs that Santa was gonna deliver have fallen out, but that's, that's fine. Okay, they didn't need them that bad. So now, once we get going, we should be able to turn whichever way we want. Oh, crap. I got no tilt going on here, guys, so it's probably gonna end badly. But if you hit control now... Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. If you hit control, it's gonna give you a big boost. There you go. Just a boost so we can fly into the ground, right? It's, it's smart. Oh. Oh, we kind of dodged it. I mean, it hit the ground, but... Oh, never mind. Okay, that, that's not good. That, that's not gonna work. Mmm, sorry, Santa. No Christmas for you. I think it's time we said Merry Christmas to the peasants, guys. They really earned it this year. So Z goes forwards. Then we're gonna use control for a boost. And then we're gonna fly into them. We're gonna try anyway. Just, just maybe just go over the top. You know? Just destroy a few things. Not everything. You don't want to go overkill with this. You know what, guys? I had this on half speed the entire time. So let's try it one more time on normal speed. It might work a little bit better. I mean, it's, it's still gonna be just as crappy to steer as before, but it'll go a little bit faster, which is nice. So control to speed it up. Oh, there you go. Hit that thing and then fly away. Merry Christmas, motherfuckers. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, that's where I'm going to end this video, but I just want to say that this was super awesome. There's a lot of really cool creations here, and I definitely want to do a video like this in the near future. So if you want to post your vehicles in the Steam group for next time, there's a link down below in the description. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.